Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study inequalities. This is an introduction to inequalities. What is an inequality? It is like an equation, but instead of equal sign, we have one of these symbols. Less than, or greater than, or this one is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Okay? Let's first write some inequalities. The cost should be at most $90. So the cost should be less than $90 or it could be exactly $90. It could be less than or equal to. So we need to use the sign less than or equal to. The cost should be less than or equal to $90. Over here we will put the variable and we can choose any letter we wish. Since it says cost, I'll choose C. Okay. You need to be at least 18 years old, okay? At least 18 years old means 18 or more, right? 18, 19 and so on. So, we will use this sign, greater than, but 18 will work too, so we will put the or equal here and 18 here. And then a variable, it's an age, so I'll put A. Age has to be greater than or equal to 18 only for children up to 120 centimeters tall. So the child has to be less than 120 centimeters or the child could be exactly 120 centimeters. So the child has to be either less or the child could be exactly equal to. And this is about their height, so let's put age. Height less than or equal to 120 centimeters. And here would be years. He wants to earn more than $10 per hour. Okay, more than is easy. It is the more than symbol and $10 per hour. And here would be his earnings. So let's use E. Earnings have to be more than $10 per hour or salary or something. Plot the inequalities. And that's basically the same as solving them. We will also solve them at the same time. X less than 11. Notice that this has many solutions. For example, 5. If I put 5 here, it is a true inequality because 5 is less than 11. Also, 7 would work and 0. I mean, multitudes of numbers would work. 1.1, 2.5, 3.64, decimal numbers, you know. So, this is how we will often depict the solution set. It is a set of numbers, you know. There's lots of numbers that are solutions to this. It is everything that is less than 11 up to 11, right? But 11 is not. So we will make an open circle here at 11. This, it means that 11 itself is not included. But then we will color the whole number line back that way. All these numbers here would fulfill this inequality. Up to 11 and 11 not. X is greater than 5, okay? Now that means that 5 will not fulfill this inequality, but any number after that, any number that's bigger than 5 will. So I will color the number line after 5. Here, x is greater than or equal to 10. Now 10 is included, so I will put a closed circle here. 10 will be fine. 10 is equal to 10. And then also all the numbers that are greater than 10. So I'll color everything after that. And here x is less than or equal to 70. Okay, x is either smaller number than 70 or x could be 72. So I'll draw a closed circle here at 70 and then color the number line this way. Now solve x plus 2 less than 31 in the set. 1, 100, 5, 30. That's a set of numbers. Set is a collection of objects. So this is a very simple problem. All we need to do is try each one of these numbers from the set. Try them here in the place of x and see if the inequality is true. 1, I'll put 1 there. 1 plus 2, well that's less than 31. So x could be 1. So I'll write here x equals 1. Any others? Now 100 over here won't work. 5, 5 will work. So x could be 5 or x is 5. How about 30? 30 plus 2 is 32. No, 30 won't work. Hold on. 
These are the solution, there's two solutions to this inequality in this set. Or how about this way? Solve 2x plus 5 less than 10. In the set of positive whole numbers, in case you don't know what is the set of positive whole numbers, it is this set. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. The counting numbers. So all we need to do is now try every number from here over here. Oh my, is that going to take us forever? Try every number? Well, fortunately, there's the less than. So surely, after a while, this won't work anymore, that this would be less than 10. Let's just try. <clears throat> okay. X could be 1 for sure. 2 times 1 plus 5 is 7. X equals 1 works. How about 2? 2 times 2 plus 5 is 9. That works. How about 3? 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5 equals 11. That won't work. And any greater number than that won't work either. So I hope you can see that. That's all there is for the solution. Now we're going to solve some more complex inequalities, but they're not really that difficult. You see, we have a number line to help us. x plus 2 has to be less than 8. I'll just try some of these numbers from here. 3, would 3 work? 3 plus 2, yeah, it's less than 8. How about 4 plus 2? Yeah. 5 plus 2? Yeah, that works too. 6 plus 2? 6 plus 2 is the first one that doesn't work, notice. 6 plus 2 is exactly 8. It's not any more less than 8. But any number that is less than 6 will work. Can you see that? So, the solution is here. Don't include 6, but anything less. We could also write it here. The solution is this. Any number that's less than 6. x minus 3 is greater than 8. Again, let's just try some of those numbers. Like 11. 11 minus 3. Well, that's 8. That won't work. 12 minus 3 is 9. That will work. 12 will work. 13, yes. 14, yes. 15, yes. How about 9? No, it gives a 6 greater than 8. 11 is like the cutoff point here. 11 will not work, but everything after that. And I can write it as a single inequality here, that x has to be, what kind of number? It has to be greater than 11. 2x is less than 10. Okay, I'll try my numbers. 3 works. 4 works. 5 doesn't work, okay, because it's exactly 10. 6 doesn't work, it's 12. And the bigger numbers surely won't work. 5 is the one that, okay, almost worked, right? If I had a number like 4.9, then it would work. So, the cutoff point here is 5, and anything less than that should be just fine. And I can also write it here x has to be less than 5. x minus 4 has to be greater than or equal to 4. Would 2 work? 2 minus 4? Okay, that's actually a negative number, and so that's not greater than 4. Well, how about 10? 10 minus 4 is 6. That will work. 9 minus 4 is 5. Will work. 8? 8 minus 4 is equals 4. That, that works too. 7 minus 4 no, that's where we go off. 8 is the last whole number that will work. And it will work, so we'll draw a circle that is filled. And then all these bigger numbers worked. Even the decimal numbers here and the fractions, right? Not just the whole numbers, but even the decimals and fractions here between the whole numbers will work for this. So, as a single inequality, I can write x is, you know, 8 or greater. x is greater than or equal to 8. There. I hope this was helpful.